The COVID-19 pandemic combined with the 2020 presidential election caused a perfect storm that led to a dramatic spike in the cost of ammunition. The result is leaving shooting ranges and police departments scrambling for ammo. Adam Pinsker reports. The town of Lagodi is nestled on the western edge of Martin County. With a population of less than 3,000 people, there isn't a lot of crime. There's a lot of drug addiction. You know, that's a, a prevalent problem. That's probably our main criminal act right now. Jim Floyd has been police chief since the beginning of the year, and he's facing another problem, lack of ammunition for the 10 full-time and two part-time officers. I called around southwest Indiana, you know, looking for ammunition. There was none on the shelves. Floyd eventually purchased ammunition from a store in Rushville about an hour away. Chief Floyd isn't alone. Nearly two hours away in Columbus, that city's police department is also having a problem securing ammunition for its 88 officers. Well, we just placed our order for 2022, so and we don't know when that's going to arrive. So uh, right now we're looking at least uh, a year out from getting something that used to take us three to four weeks. Columbus Police Spokesperson Lieutenant Matt Harris says the department got its 2020 ammunition shipment last December. The state of Indiana requires all law enforcement to take a firearms qualification course twice a year at minimum. We want to uh, allow the officers to have additional opportunities to um, to go out and um, receive extra training because in our eyes, just going out a couple times a year is, is not good enough. Both the Columbus and Lagodi Police Department say the surge in ammunition prices is taking a bite out of their city's budgets. I asked for an additional $2,500. Uh, there was, I think, $500 in the budget, and I asked for an additional $2,500 because of the situation we were in. The shortage is also affecting private gun ranges and gun shops. Visitors to Uncle Rudy's Firearms in Evansville will pay more than double for a box of bullets. A box of 9mm uh, ammunition that was a very popular training round uh, would have been retailing for about $13 to $14 before COVID. And now we're looking at close to $50 a box. Rudolph says it's simply an issue of supply and demand. He said prices for ammunition started going up a few months into the COVID-19 pandemic and haven't dropped since. The people I'm talking to, my distributors, my wholesalers, uh, they're telling me they're not expecting anything to come back to normal again until probably close to the end of this year at the earliest. Rudolph attributes some of the spike in demand for ammunition to Joe Biden's win over Donald Trump last year. The old joke is that the uh, Obama was the best gun salesman for us for a long time, and before that it was Clinton. Even with the increase in ammunition, Rudolph is still seeing a lot of first-time gun owners coming into his shop. We want to see people get practice with their firearms and use their firearms in a responsible way, and the only way to do that is to practice. And practicing is what the chiefs of Columbus and Lagodi say their officers will continue to do, even as they navigate the difficult and expensive process of acquiring ammunition and public safety will not be in jeopardy. If something happens, we are prepared to deal with it as necessary. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Adam Pinsker.